Hello YouTube and in this video I'll be showing you a software called Smart Defrag 3 by iOven. So when we first open up the software, this is what it looks like. As you can see it has a, a new redesigned UI from the from Smart Defrag 2. So I guess that's a plus right there. So I guess if you like new UI changes then and this is something that you're gonna like. Alright, so let's get into it. So when you open up Smart Defrag, you're gonna see up here that, that it's gonna list all the disk drives that you have. So for my PC, I have four disk drives, so it's gonna list four. And then here, over here, it tells you your free, how, much sto how much free space you have the file system type and automatic defrag and boot time defrag options can be found here but for the purposes of this video I always keep these off so it's really up to you if you want to keep them on or not but for me I just keep them off okay so when we come here we have two options defrag and analyze usually I just go for the for the defrag option because because there's no point in analyzing because because I just want my hard drive to be defragged so I just go for defrag option and as you can see here there's also question marks and these question marks tell you a little more information about the drop down menus that you're going to select so when you select the defrag drop down menu you have four options here you have defrag only, defrag and fast optimize, fully optimize and prioritize five. So from these four options you could decide which one you want and you just click on it and the defragging will, will start. For analyze you have two options, you have quick analyze and deep analyze. Since I didn't use these options I can't tell you what these options will do. But if you're like me and you just want to go ahead and defrag immediately, you have four options to choose from. I recently defragged my hard drive and the option I chose was defrag and fully optimize. So this took me about an hour to, to do since the only drive that I made the defrag was my one terabyte drive. So depending on how large your your disk drive is it may take a while but patience is key so if you want to defrag all the way I would suggest to select defrag and fully optimize option if that's what you're into so when is defragging you can see a bunch of things in this screen over here so since I'm not defragging you're not gonna see anything and down here there's a map that tells you like the what each color tile is and what yeah and what it is basically. So then we have a different tabs here. So we have the state, which is the C. So for my so for me it's the C drive because this is the only disk they have selected. So it's only going to show that. And then there's automatic defrag and if you click here enable for automatic defrag for its volume then it will enable this option but I just chose not to. Boot time defrag has the same things. So it has the enable boot time defrag option there and it's got a little more settings here. So I, I just don't do any, I just don't check any of these things because I'm not too sure what what they are for so in the report section basically when you defrag from this section you show you defrag and it's done your the report is going to be under this page so since I defrag my drive yesterday I got a report here and I took a look at it and, and it really didn't matter to me because I saw what was going on and then here there's a recommendation that says analyze but since I defragged yesterday I'm not going to analyze. And then the action center is basically the same action center that we have for the other iOS software. So, 
so it's got security performance and I really don't need to I really don't need any of these so we won't be need that so then you could hide the action center or but not just hide it because I have no use so basically what this software does and I'll mention this again is that it basically just defrags your hard drives the ones that you have selected up here so that's all it does just defrag your hard drives and supposedly it's when you defrag it, it's supposed to make your PC run a little faster but honestly for me I did not notice anything but then I guess at the same time my hard drive wasn't that uh, fragmented so I guess I, so I guess there really wasn't much of a change so so if you want a good defragment software for your disks and you and you don't want to use the Windows disk defragmenter software then I would recommend getting smart defrag so that you could use this software instead of the Windows software to defrag your hard disks so overall smart defrag it just, that's all it does it just defrag your hard disks your hard drives and and it's supposed to make them work faster so the, the judge is up so it's really up to you to whether or not you notice anything I'm only here to basically show you what the software is and what it does well thank you for watching this video and I hope that you get the software if you need a good defragment software